हरे कृष्ण वेलकम टू भगवद गीता एज इट इज स्टडी चैप्टर सिक्स नमा ओम विष्णु फादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति राघव स्वामी रुचिनाम नम विष्णु फादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नितिनाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश Section one of the sixth chapter, verses one to four, and then section two, verses five to nine. So, as mentioned earlier, Arjuna was asking Krishna the intricacies of whether one should renounce work or whether one should work. so krishna had replied that until and unless one is purified one should not give up work one can give up his house his family and everything provided he is purified of all material desires but until and unless one is freed from material desires one has to work now this work should be done for the pleasure of krishna because by nature we will be forced to work so when one is forced to work one has to work as yagya for krishna and purify himself and this will help him gain transcendental knowledge and understand more about krishna and surrender unto him so there are two stages of yoga one is the yoga rurukshu and one is yoga rudha yoga rurukshu means the yogi is trying to control his mind and senses and yoga rudha means he has reached the stage of controlled senses when he is in the yoga rudha stage of controlled senses he can actually give up work shri bhagavan uvacha anashritah karma phalam karyam karma karoti yah स संन्यासी चोगी च न निराग्नि न चा क्रिया सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एट सेट वन इज नॉट अटैच टू दी फ्रूट्स ऑफ हिज वर्क एंड हू वर्क एज इज अब्लाइज इन द रिनाउंस्ड ऑर्डर ऑफ लाइफ एंड ही इज द ट्रू मिस्टेक नॉट ही हू लाइट्स नो फायर एंड परफॉर्म्स नो ड्यूटी मीन्स अन अटैच टू द फ्रूट्स ऑफ हिज वर्क मीन्स हू वर्क for the satisfaction of krishna and whatever comes as a result of it he does not want to enjoy but to give it to krishna just like there was a great devotee in shri vaishnava sampraday he wanted to build a temple for krishna and through various means he collected lot of money and all that money he used to build the temple did not keep a farthing for himself so his desire was purely to serve krishna that is why he got so much money but he was never attached to that money so similarly we should work and whatever we get of course we have to maintain our body but we should not try to enjoy in this world but all that money we should be using in the service of krishna so sanyasi also means not that he is jobless his job is to serve krishna by various means to satisfy krishna when somebody stops material work he actually starts spiritual work and that spiritual activity spiritual work should be to please krishna and he should be active a devotee means active that is the first point so until and unless one is purified one should act in this world and after he is purified he is completely meditating on krishna then he naturally acts for the pleasure of krishna but until then he has to kind of force himself to act on that platform and give his fruits give the fruits of his activities to krishna just like there is bali maharaj now bali maharaj had this whole kingdom this whole world as his kingdom and when lord vamana demanded he gave his 
whole kingdom he was ready to give up even his own head for the pleasure of the lord although it was difficult he did it as a matter of duty yam sanyasam iti prahur yogam tam vidhi pandava nahi asanyast sankalpo yog bhavati kashchana what is called renunciation you should know to be the same as yoga so krishna is explaining that the principle of sanyasa and yoga is the same yoga means to be detached from matter and link oneself to krishna that is the most positive thing first thing is positive that one connects up to krishna and sanyasa means giving up samyak nyasa is giving up of all material attachments and getting attached to the supreme lord so krishna is telling arjuna that understand that renunciation and yoga are one and the same thing so one can never become a yogi unless he renounces desire for sense gratification so that is the same principle as a sanyasi a sanyasi he is also unattached to sense gratification he is not interested in enjoying the senses in fact he wants to purify his senses so that they can be used in the service of krishna so the definition of yoga is given here that yoga means to connect oneself to krishna and also giving up desire for sense gratification so that is real yoga connecting yourself developing your relationship with krishna aruruksor muner yogam karma karana muchyate yoga rudasya tasseva shamah karana muchyate for one who is a neophyte in the eightfold yoga system work is said to be the means and for one who is already elevated in yoga cessation of all material activities is said to be the means so here krishna is saying that as long as one is not liberated even when performing ashtanga yoga one has to do nishkama karma a yogi until his mind is completely come to a point of stand still with no material desires he has to perform activity his mind his desires will force him to perform activity therefore he has to perform nishkama karma yoga and once he is purified then he has to practice dhyana so one cannot practice peaceful meditation until and unless one's mind is purified the bottom line is one performs asana pranayama dharana dhyana mudra all these things to purify the body to purify the mind to come to sattva guna sattva guna means the mode of goodness where one feels light healthy strong and one is peaceful peacefulness is the main quality yoga rudasya so one who has elevated himself by the practice of yoga so it is said to complete the practice of yoga one should practice a certain discipline for 12 years so basically means no meat eating no intoxication no illicit sex no gambling for 12 straight years if one practices that is able to practice for 12 years and practice yoga regularly both the physical yoga and the mental yoga then one can achieve the goal so there are two things here ar urukshur maner yogam so one who is in yoga urukshur stage he performs some karma yoga also for example like doing some social service ha he practices his yoga and then he does something but that is purely social activity he does not think of doing some big business or something we see once you try to get into business and other things 
then yoga goes away then your mind becomes completely disturbed because then you are thinking of profit and loss then you will get into depression or total happiness you are not peaceful that is not yoga yoga means his only expectation here is the purification of mind he is not thinking of material profit or loss yada indriyartheshu na karmas anusajyate sarva sankalpa sanyasi yoga rudas tadochyate person is said to be elevated in yoga when having renounced all material desires he neither acts for sense gratification nor engages in fruitive activities so when is he considered to be elevated in yoga having renounced all material desires he neither acts for sense gratification nor engages in fruitive activities so it's pretty much a continuation of what he said earlier where he defines the yoga ruda stage so very simply elevation in yoga means giving up of sense gratification i remember i asked this question once to a very senior sanyasi and i asked him how do you test that you are you know improving you are improving your spiritual life you are elevating in your spiritual life how do you understand that so the test is how much you are attracted to enjoying this world how much you are attracted to sex how much you are attracted to a uh, greedy you are to enjoy oh i earned this 10 dollars so i must enjoy this 10 dollars how much you are attracted to enjoying your money how much so that much you are degraded but whatever money and everything you have you want to use it in the service of krishna that means you are elevated so that means you are renounced so that is what krishna is saying here उद्धरे आत्मन अवसादयेत आत्मैव ही आत्मनो बंधु आत्मैव रिपुर आत्मन वन मस्ट डिलीवर हिमसेल्फ विद द हेल्प ऑफ हिज माइंड एंड नॉट डिग्रेड हिमसेल्फ द माइंड इज द फ्रेंड ऑफ द कंडीशन सोल एंड इज एन एज वेल दिस अ वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वर्स वेर कृष्ण से one must deliver himself with the help of his mind so the focus now turns to the mind so the body then the senses once the sense gratification stops once your senses are purified then the focus turns on to the mind the mind is the king of the senses as long as these senses are engaged in sense gratification the mind is also busy gratifying the mind is also busy enjoying but when the senses are purified then the mind becomes very strong the mind is the friend of the conditioned soul and his enemy so the mind can act as two ways just like a knife a knife in the hands of a surgeon will save the life of a patient the knife in the hands of a thief will only kill people so the mind is like a double edged sword when used properly it will cut through all ignorance but when misused the mind when conditioned mind when engaged in sense gratification will rebound back hundreds of times and will simply bind the condition soul to millions of births bandur atma manastasya yenatmai vatmana jitah anatmanastu shatrutve vartetha mai va shatruvat for him who has conquered the mind the mind is the best of friends but for one who has failed to do so his mind will remain the greatest enemy we see in this modern world everybody goes through depression frustration anger so here in this image we see a buddhist monk meditating trying to conquer the mind and there are so many desires in the mind the uncontrolled mind never stops 
we think that this desire will satisfy us this will be the last time we will enjoy this will be the last time we will try out this desire we will do this thing and it keeps on going on and never ends for eternity so for one who has conquered the mind the mind is the best of friends when the mind is completely conquered all these desires are conquered you don't engage in sense gratification then the mind will help you understand higher knowledge the mind the focused mind can actually achieve lot of things a concentrated mind has lot of strength a disturbed mind does not have any strength his mind will be the greatest enemy the disturbed mind will only cause the degradation of the soul so now the focus here now turns comes to the mind so once the activities of the body is regulated activities of the senses are regulated then the mind is purified and the, when the mind is purified the mind becomes your best friend but an impurified mind remains the greatest enemy jitatmanah prashantasya परमात्मा समाहित शीतोष्ण सुख दुखेशु तथा मानापमान फॉर वन हु हैज कॉन्कर्ड द माइंड द सुपर सोल इज ऑलरेडी रीच्ड फॉर ही हैज अटेन ट्रैंक्विलिटी टू सच ए मैन हैप्पीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस हीट एंड कोल्ड ऑनर एंड डिसऑनर आर ऑल द सेम सो कृष्ण इज गिविंग अस ऑल गुड इंस्ट्रक्शंस इन अवर हार्ट ही इज प्रेजेंट एज सुपर सोल Vishnu So within everyone's heart he is giving us sometimes when we commit mistakes he is giving us guilty consciousness when we commit good activity we feel happy elated so he is giving us proper feelings and understanding but when our mind is full of material desire sense gratificatory desire we commit sinful activity we become bound in this world So when one conquers the mind he reaches the super soul and he attains tranquility because krishna always gives us proper understanding this knowledge is given by the supreme lord vishnu spiritual knowledge can only be revealed by supreme lord vishnu when he finds we are eligible he will reveal this knowledge and actually all that we have to do is to try hard and not fall victim to the senses always praying to the lord keeping our mind focused on the lotus feet of the lord always thinking about krishna if we are in that consciousness when the mind is purified we are able to perceive the presence of krishna within our hearts and in every personality the super soul or lord vishnu is present in every person so there is the soul and the super soul so even when somebody acts or reacts to us we understand that it is the super soul who is acting through them so when he understands that krishna is the doer in your heart and in everybody's heart then to such a man happiness and distress heat and cold honor and dishonor are all the same for he understands that every activity is done by vishnu he is the cause then he becomes peaceful tranquil focused and for him when even if there is distress or happiness heat or cold honor dishonor just doesn't bother him for he understands the source of everything and he is focused on the source the supreme lord vishnu so one is established in yoga 
when he is self satisfied to such a man happiness and distress stones pebbles gold everything appear to be the same so jnana means knowledge vidyana means realization so one who is satisfied with realization kutastha he is established in the self and vijitendriya means he has conquered his senses so it is very very important for us to purify the mind and purify the thought process so our thought process should be only to how to purify the mind and how to use it in a spiritual consciousness by always thinking in this way by always being peaceful by always being connected to krishna one can overcome all miseries so here we can see the picture of a yogi who is focused on the paramatma supreme lord within the heart so it is said within a body there are two souls one the individual spirit soul that is us and accompanying him is the supreme lord vishnu lord vishnu is an observer to all our karma and decides what is our karma what is our next birth he observes and he decides So the supreme lord vishnu is very beautiful and he is called as chaitya guru means the original guru the guru in your heart and he gives us actually knowledge and realization so one who has conquered his mind he can actually realize this form of the lord super soul within the heart सुहृन्मित्रारि उदासीन मध्यस्थ द्वेष बंधुषु साधुषु अपि पापेशु समबुद्धिर्विशिष्यते अ पर्सन इज कंसीडर्ड स्टिल फर्दर एडवांस्ड व्हेन ही रिगार्ड्स ऑनेस्ट वेल विशर्स अफेक्शनेट बेनिफैक्टर्स द न्यूट्रल मेडिटेटर्स द एनवियस फ्रेंड्स एंड एनिमीज द पायस एंड द सिनर्स ऑल विद एन इक्वल माइंड सो वंस अगेन द इक्विनानिमिटी ऑफ द माइंड equanimity of mind he sees everybody equally means he sees everybody as a spirit soul and lord vishnu is present in the heart of every living entity and he sees that lord vishnu is the supreme controller and because he is a surrendered soul unto lord vishnu lord vishnu will take care of him because he is the controller of everybody hare krishna